For all the control systems to work on the China space station, a space level chip is at the core. A brain, so to speak. In an environment with high radiation in space, errors on integrated circuits can easily occur as particles are ionized and cause latch-ups. How did Chinese engineers innovate the chip design to make chips resistant to latch-ups? By the way, let me tell you another trivia fact that most of China's aerospace chips are actually domestically produced. Xie Jun, the chief designer of the BIDA-3 satellite, said, as the chief engineer of the BIDA-3 satellite, almost half of my energy is spent on the localization of components. As for today's video, let's take a look at the arduous self-research road of China's space-level chips. Okay, let's get started. As the smallest individual on the Chinese space station to achieve key functions, the aerospace chip is equivalent to the cell, or even the heart of the spacecraft. If the cells are not healthy and the heart is not strong, no matter how big it is, it is not strong. In recent years, a large number of Chinese domestic high-end aerospace chips have emerged one after another, and the quality and reliability of components have steadily improved. A chip, with millions of transistors, is an extremely complex system. To lay out hundreds of millions of transistors and several kilometers of wires in a tiny place the size of a fingernail, the technical difficulty is equivalent to building a skyscraper on a foundation as small as one ten-thousandth of the diameter of a human hair. In aerospace, every system is extremely complex. In other words, every component, every screw, and every wire is involved in the success or failure of the entire model task. The most core component is the chip. As for the question of whether to use imported or domestic aerospace chips, China has already obtained the answer in the past experience. In fact, several key parts of BIDA, too, were imported products, but during the development stage of BIDA, Three flight test satellite, the supplier country began to impose import restrictions on China, and the delivery time was generally delayed. In fact, the computing performance of space level chips is not as good as that of home computer chips, but the price is much more expensive, often at millions. It is said that an aerospace grade FPGA chip from Xilinx has a unit price of about 5 million yuan, which is the most expensive chip in history. For the aerospace CPU of China's BIDA satellite, the price of a board is 9 million yuan. According to Lin Baojun, chief designer of BIDA 3, the price is still several times cheaper than before. Since the computing performance is not as good as that of mobile phone and computer chips, why are space level chips so expensive? Chips can be divided into aerospace grade, military grade, industrial grade, and consumer grade. In recent years, the chips that Huawei has been cut off by the United States are consumer grade chips, while aerospace grade and military grade chips were blocked by the West earlier. The most important measure standard of space level chips is not computing performance, but the ability to adapt to the space environment. In space, there are a lot of high energy particles and cosmic rays. These particles and rays will produce radiation effects that seriously affect the work of the chip. According to statistics, in the 15 years from 1971 to 1986, a total of 1,589 failures occurred in 39 synchronous satellites launched abroad, of which 1129 failures were related to space radiation. In addition, extreme temperature differences in space can also affect chip performance. The R&D costs to overcome these conditions are much higher than the R&D costs of mobile phone chips that support applications. Due to the blockade imposed on China by European and American countries, China's space-level chips have to embark on a difficult road to independence. The chip used in the Chang'e for launch is still the Artmalat 697 chip imported from the United States, and the price ranges from 300,000 to millions. However, with the rise of domestic chips, China's BIDA Double Star launched in 2015 is equipped with two domestic chips, and the cost is only tens of thousands. The Lungsun 1 times 10 to the power of 300 developed by China in 2017 has performance indicators that have reached the level of American space-level chips. Zhao Yuanfu, former director of the No. 772 Institute of the 9th Academy of China Aerospace Science and Technology Corporation said, our goal is to allow China Aerospace to use its own chips. 
the chips used on spacecraft are called satellite brains and have to stand the test of the harsh environment of space. Zhao Yuanfu said, radiation-resistant integrated circuits are a common basic technology for space exploration, and the realization of independent control is the building of aerospace power. The key is highly valued by the country. In order to realize the independent control of China's aerospace chips, we have been concentrating on research and unremitting research for more than 20 years. In the early stage of development, their team focused on the independent research and development of a new generation of international aerospace CPUs, rather than taking the road of imitation. Zhao Yuanfu told reporters frankly, we aimed at the international advanced cutting-edge technology from the beginning, and did not take the road of imitation. Imitation also takes time and great cost, and even if imitation comes out, foreign updated and upgraded CPUs come out again. The product has no competitive advantage. This central processing unit, which looks only the size of a thumbnail, has the complexity and sophistication of a brain. Due to the early stage of research and development, there was no actual product for the new generation of aerospace CPUs in the world at that time. There were only general ideas and concepts, and everything started from scratch, taking the opportunity to undertake China's first research project on integrated circuit design and reinforcement technology. Aerospace 772 established a radiation-resistant integrated circuit technology innovation team led by Zhao Yuanfu. It has been 10 years since the project was established. When talking about the arduous process of developing the first domestic CPU, Zhao said, the aerospace industry has gathered a group of scientists who have always regarded aerospace as their lifelong career. With perseverance, you can always find a way to break through. How should aerospace chips achieve anti-radiation? In the past, there was a stupid way to put a thick coat on the circuit, but this would increase the weight of the device significantly. In addition, you can also try to change the manufacturing process, but this is a huge investment. How to develop anti-radiation chips at low cost has become a difficult problem for scientists from all over the world. In 1999, Zhao's team proposed a low-cost, design reinforcement idea, that is, a radiation-resistant aerospace integrated circuit can be developed through the design process instead of the manufacturing process only by using the civilian integrated circuit manufacturing production line. In this way, the difficulty of anti-radiation is all transferred to the chip design, and the design of anti-radiation chip is a worldwide problem. Facing the urgent needs of aerospace engineering, Zhao and his team first selected the diamond in the crown, the anti-radiation CPU as the core product for technical applications, and conducted a large number of technical experiments. In order to create a reliable, Chinese chip, radiation-resistant chips must be verified and evaluated by ground tests in a simulated space radiation environment. In order to complete the radiation test of more products, Team members need to enter the sealed vacuum radiation tank as soon as possible, replace the test samples that have just been irradiated, and prepare for the next round of tests. Each radiation test generally takes at least 24 hours, or even several days without interruption. For the seamless connection of the experiment, the team members ate instant noodles when they were hungry, and laid down the floor when they were sleepy. Ten years later, the domestic CPU developed by Zhao's team has been successful, not only with high speed, more interface types, and stronger variability, but also more suitable for the needs of different functional components of satellites. Nowadays, the performance of China chip is getting better and better, which has greatly improved the localization rate of aerospace integrated circuits. In addition to the CPU, dozens of products such as data bus circuits, converters, and memories on BEDA satellites are developed and produced by 772 Research Institute. There are dozens of circuits developed by the team using a single BEDA navigation satellite, more than 1,000 pieces. It has played a key role in the 100% localization rate of BEDA navigation core components. The realization of the mass use of domestic chips in China's satellite systems is a milestone for the independent and innovative development of aerospace engineering. Well, thanks for your listening, and please be free to put your comments below, and share your insightful ideas. Please keep following our channel and like our videos. I am Tech Teller, the person to tell you the opinions that are worth spreading every day. See you.